Hey everyone, it's Chime Time, and this is my show, Chime Time. And today we're going to be discussing my merchandise, which consists of handkerchiefs, aka pocket squares, coin purses, and bracelets. Um, the main reason why I'm talking about my merchandise really is because, like, I posted about it on my social media. People were like, what are you talking about merchandise? I don't post a lot of my travels because I'm busy traveling. I mean, I do take a lot of photos of shows and things, but not necessarily like what I do in between. And to help finance all my sick travels, yo, uh, I have to recuperate some of my losses or expenses. And this is this is the, the way that I do it. And I do it in a way where I support like local artists. Um, you know, I'll, I'm in the process of commissioning more of these handbags by an artist here in New York, whether they're passing through town or they actually live here. Um, this is an expensive town, so support your local artists with some locally made products. Um, and people were like asking me, they're like, well, what, are you, what are you talking about merchandise? Uh, what, what is this merchandise? And you know, like, rather than typing it out, I was like, oh, I'll make a video, you know. I make videos to begin with, that's, that's how it is. Um, so anyway, let's start with the pocket squares as I get a kneeling close up. We have like so many different colors and they're made of a silk fabric. And you know, it's very pashmina oriented. Like everyone camping outside, you get a runny nose in the morning or even at night. Like the second you step away from the dance floor and there's like, it's not, a, you, you lose everyone's body warmth, like runny nose, at least that's how it is with me. I found that like cold baths and saunas have helped me be not as sensitive to the cold as much anymore, but I don't get that all the time. Now these are reversible, you know, patterns and they're just really, really fun. Like normal pocket squares, uh, like are usually white or something. Now these are flashy. I had one customer in Australia. Um, he was an American actually, and he's like, "Oh, you know, like I go to weddings a lot, and I, I you know, I'm gonna put the pocket square in my suit." And yeah, that's that's great. You know, I have all kinds of customers um, of all ages, but usually like the party people just like some psychedelic, colorful looking things. Usually they. Had, uh, have pashminas on. Oh yeah, I have my East Coast Bash shirt from Club Loose, New Jersey. And uh, yeah, so I got them, you know, these little ID clip-on things on a carabiner and these lock into place, keep them from getting lost or accounted for, like someone pulls it off. Usually when I'm done selling, I take this, stick in my pocket so I know that nothing goes missing. Not that I've ever had a problem with theft before. <clears throat> But it's good to keep an open mind. Same policy with these uh, coin purses. Now, th these are like just kind of like mitten-like fabric, um, commissioning something a lot softer cotton. And coin purses are good just because like you gotta have a place to keep um, like your, your, your money, you know, your uh, wallet is like, I mean, you could carry a wallet, but sometimes it's a little bit baggy. You want something a little bit slimmer, whether it's in, like a dress that has a pocket overalls uh I, it's i mean i'd say a lot of uh, girls buy it but a lot of guys too you know like keep a little flashlight in here um whatever, whatever it is you're fumbling with <laughs> spoons uh so yeah we got porcupine flamingo a little upside down flamingo right side up got some random um shape looking thing we got some uh free willies cacti, some British Columbia trees, and uh, some Polar Boys. <laughs> polar Boys. They're fun, you know? And people like little tiny souvenirs and stuff that's also useful. I think like the majority of what I sell is just for practicality's sake. And then we've got the bracelets, which are on a cool, like, you could break down this um, contraption. <laughs> like, it, it easily comes apart. You know, it's hard to hold in, in the camera. But, yeah, you could just 
take this and hand it to somebody if they want to take a closer look, which we're probably going to do. I'm going to hold it up so you get a full visual. Whoa. Some, some of them have some little danglies. And it's, it's cool for a few reasons. Pull the chair out to rest on. But anyway, on the top rack, we have what I would say is better for girls. Now, these are like, they're all handmade. Uh, these are more, more similar. And, uh, you know, whether they're like plain, colorful, red, turquoise, a little bit more formal black. Uh, and then we have like one that's just hyper ornate. I charge a little extra <laughs> for the really special ones that took more time and labor to put in. Plus this one has like a, like a, a clip in the back. It's, these are usually drawstring, but yeah, again, lo local artists made sometimes, uh, in my neighborhood, they sell these on the streets and I, I make deals with the artists and, you know, like their family members are putting this together. So sometimes it's maybe like their, their, their kids are doing it <laughs> or they teach their kids how to do it. It's like a trade thing, you know, or it's a real family thing. So next up we have the middle tier, not that it's like middle tier, but it's just in the middle of, uh, I'll show you. The middle of the display so like you know top is is a little bit more feminine now these i consider to be unisex actually everything i sell i consider to be unisex i wear it all um which i do like you know oftentimes you'll catch me at the festivals wearing my own stuff but these are a little bit more modernist a little plain leather you know outside of a festival setting these are uh more public presentable you know whether you're going to a nice dinner or you just don't want to stand out you know you're trying to fit in uh these are cool while still standing out and uh you know like i always tell guys that it it allows these these products allow guys to to accessorize where they normally wouldn't and not necessarily touch into your feminine side but definitely like build confidence in yourself, build, build a look so that you're just more than just the clothes you're wearing, you know, like just give you a little edge and it works, it works with, you know, picking up girls. I'm not, I'm not kidding. They love it. You'd be like, Hey, look what I'm wearing. I, and I actually do. I, I wear, I wear a little bracelet every day. <clears throat> girls like that, you know, they find, find things, uh, interesting at face value. So then we have the, uh, third, third most tier or whatever. <laughs> and these are more leather with more drawstrings, but they have like charms on them. And then we have like two special ones at the end, but let's see, we got a butterfly, tree of life, a wing, a, another butterfly. Oh, we have two butterflies. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Uh, we have this interesting hand thing. Sometimes I don't know what the symbols mean. Like, uh, um, this is peace. Um, this is a uh, a cannabis flower and a bicycle. You know, this is probably cool for Burning Man. They all have bicycles. And then uh, we have like this cool wheel and an X. And again, these are a little bit more special because they have like clasps in the back. And the specialized ones are a little bit more rare and they take more more uh, labor. So I do charge more for those. But yeah, this is this is what you can expect. You know, <clears throat> I think I have a feeling that the butterflies are gonna sell. <laughs> Even though there's two of them. So I like to have uh, unique products and that way you don't have to worry about somebody having the same thing or I won't ever sell to the same thing at one festival. I mean, if you go to a lot of festivals, yeah, you'll get like, <laughs> you, you might see similar, similar products, similar charms, but otherwise I'm going to, I'm going to ditch that one uh, butterfly so that we keep it unique for for everyone and kind of what you see here is what I'll what I'll bring typically and if I sell out great do I ever sell out no <laughs> never but uh it helps it buy it, it'll buy me some food <clears throat> so there you have it I'm Sean time um we're almost at 10 minutes on the clock check out my cool haircut with the shutdown going on if the year's 2020, so this, you know, I, I recently cut the sides of my hair. I'm so excited. Live to love, chime time.